In this last part of the chapter, we shall look at the ratio of volumes of similar solids. Let us first start by looking at some general examples again. Here we have two similar cylinders. The ratio of the volumes of these two cylinders can be given by V1 over V2, which is equal to pi R1 square H1 over pi R2 square H2. To recall again, for any similar figures, the ratio of the corresponding lengths are equal, and hence we can replace H1 over H2 with R1 over R2. Cancelling out the common terms, we will have R1 over R2 cubed. Now let's look at the example of two similar spheres here. V1 over V2 will be equal to 4 over 3 pi R1 cubed over 4 over 3 pi R2 cubed. Again, cancelling out the common terms, we will have V1 over V2 equals to R1 over R2 cubed. Now, let's look at the last example. We have two similar cones here. Hence, V1 over V2 will be equals to 1 third pi R1 square H over 1 third pi R2 square H2. Once again, for similar figures, we can replace H1 over H2 with R1 over R2. And testing out the common terms, we will have V1 over V2 equals to R1 over R2 cubed. In general, the ratio of the volume of similar solids can be given by the cube of L1 over L2, whereby L1 and L2 can be any two corresponding lengths again. To recall, the ratio of the area of similar figures is given by A1 over A2 equals to the square of L1 over L2. Do take notes of the difference in terms of the power. Well, it is not very difficult to remember, isn't it? Since volume, we always write the units as cubic centimeter, area, we write it as square centimeter, and hence the powers here somewhat resembles that of the units to be written. Now, let's look at some specific examples here. Given that these two prisms are similar, find the volume of the smaller prism. Since they are similar, we shall use the formula. We shall use the formula Vs over Vl, which is the same as V1 over V2, equals to the cube of Ls over L capital L. Now, do you know what values to substitute into these variables here? Since we do not know what is the volume of the smaller prism, and the larger prism has the volume of 1080. The ratio of the volumes will be Vs over 1080. And on the right hand side, we will have the cube of 7.5 over 18. Do remember, since we are using the ratio of the smaller prism over the larger prism, therefore the length here must also be the smaller length over the larger length. In order to find the volume of the smaller prism, we will multiply 1080 on both sides. Finally, we will have the volume of the smaller prism equals to 78.125 cubic cm, which is the exact answer. Next, let us look at another example. Given that the two pyramids here are similar, find the height of the smaller pyramid. Since they are similar, we will use the formula Vs over Vl equals to the cube of Ls over L capital L. Substituting in the values, we will have 216 over 512 for the volume equals to the cube of x over 14. In order to find x, we can cube root on both sides. Therefore, we will have 3 over 4 equals to x over 14. Finally, to find x, we will have to multiply 14 on both sides and we will get x equals to 10.5 cm. We shall look at one last example. The ratio of the areas of two similar pyramids is given by 16 is to 25. Find the ratio of the volume of the larger pyramid is to the volume of the smaller pyramid. Now, since this question talks about the ratio of the areas of two similar figures, we shall use the formula AS over AL equals to the square of LS over L capital L. Now, shall I substitute the value of 16 into here or here? 
Yes, since the value of 16 is the ratio of the area, we shall substitute into the left-hand side. To find the ratio of the corresponding length, we will have to square root on both sides, and we will have LS over L capital L equals to 4 over 5. Now, given the ratio of the corresponding length, can you find the ratio of the volumes of these two similar pyramids? Yes, we can, simply by using VL over VS equals to the cube of L capital L over LS. In this case, we will put the larger pyramid first, as required by the question. Now, what is the value of L capital L over LS? Yes, it is 5 over 4, and hence we will have the cube of 5 over 4 on the right hand side. And finally, the ratio of the two volumes will be equal to 1 to 5 is to 64. Now, let's do a bit of checking of understanding. Are these two cylinders similar? Well, they do look similar, but the answer is no. The reason is, the ratio of all the corresponding lengths are not equal. For instance, the ratio of the radii here is 1 is to 1. However, the ratio of the heights is definitely not 1 is to 1. H2 here is definitely smaller than H1. What about these two cones here? Are they similar? Well, the answer is yes, because the ratio of all the corresponding lengths are equal. Now, how do we know that? Let's find out by looking at it in two dimensions. Is triangle ABE and triangle CDE similar? Yes, from the AAA similarity test, we learned that triangle ABE is indeed similar to triangle CDE. Since these two triangles here are similar, therefore the ratio of all the corresponding lengths are equal. And hence, these two cones must be similar as well. Let's look at one final part of this lesson. Given any two similar figures, the density will be equal to mass over volume and the mass will be equal to density multiplied by the volume. If density is constant, the mass and the volume will be directly proportional. Now, what does this imply? It implies that, given any two similar figures, if V1 over V2 equals to the cube of L1 over L2, likewise, mass 1 over mass 2 will also be equal to the cube of L1 over L2. Because when density is constant for these two similar figures, volume and mass are directly proportional. And hence, we we'll expect the formula to be the same for the ratio of the volumes and the ratio of the masses. Again, L1 and L2 can be any two corresponding lengths. Well, and that is all for this chapter.